Hello, everyone, and welcome to our weekly demo. We are really excited that you have joined us. Just going to give everybody about two minutes to filter into the presentation, um, and then we will get started. Thanks so much for your patience. If you are just entering, welcome. Just going to give everybody one more minute to get situated and then we will begin. All right, looks like we are good to go. Again, everyone, thank you so much for joining. We are really thrilled that you are here. If any questions do pop up during the presentation, please feel free to just drop those in the question box on the control panel on the right hand side um, and we will get those answered for you. But at this point, I'm going to turn it over to our presenter, Jim Mason. Thank you, Madison. Thank you all for joining. This is an overview of Attack IQ Ready and how you can use it to test your security controls. Here are some recent security statistics. Financial gain has been cited as the primary motivation for 95% of attacks. Verizon found during a recent study that 83% of breaches are initiated by external threat actors. Despite the abundance of security controls deployed, the human element, the misconfiguration, stolen credentials, change control mishaps, and so on, is a key factor in 74% of all data breaches. Ransomware continues to be a concern, still accounting for 24% of all breach-related activities. Security controls fail often, silently and in production. Oftentimes after a mistake, no one even knows the product or platform is not doing what it should until it's too late. Organizations have two choices. They can choose to test their security stack regularly or wait till an attacker does. Attack IQ Ready is a fully managed breach and attack simulation service. From day one, uh, Attack IQ Ready provides an easy to use and immediate baseline understanding of your security coverage, as well as continuous visibility into your security posture. The Attack IQ Ready team conducts weekly tests of your security controls using the MITRE attack aligned assessments drawn from the full Attack IQ research library. Ready provides weekly and monthly reports about your security controls performance, including against specific adversaries curated by the Attack IQ adversary research team. Every month, the Attack IQ adversary research team introduces a new set of adversarial campaigns to test your security controls against that specific adversary. At the six month mark, Attack IQ Ready introduces the option of detection testing for companies that have a security operations center or a SIM structured to respond to alerts and attacks. And lastly, Ready customers have access to immediate in-app analysis about emerging and advanced threats and how to prepare your defenses to withstand attacks. Now, here's a quick look at what's under the hood of the Ready offering. Customers access Attack IQ Ready via their dedicated portal. Everything between the portal and the customer infrastructure layer is configured and maintained by Attack IQ for you. Only a lightweight test package deployed on one to 10 of your chosen test points sits on net. 
Now, Attack IQ Ready uses carefully chosen scenarios to test specific security controls in your infrastructure, such as antivirus, endpoint detection and response, content and email filters, next generation firewalls, uh, and even web application firewalls. Now, Ready utilizes a number of different methods to validate your controls. Packet capture or PCAP replay scenarios emulate malicious traffic being sent to your network. Now, this realistically evaluates how security controls like internet-facing firewalls might respond to different examples of attacker communications. Atomic scenarios emulate specific tactics, techniques, or procedures to test security configurations. Credential harvesting, discovery, execution, and malware are just a few examples. Now, after successfully breaching a network, advanced persistent threat groups such as APT29, APT41, and FIN7, they employ a series of steps or multiple tactics as part of their campaign. To emulate that, Attack IQ Ready uses an anatomic testing process. We call that attack flows or attack graphs. In this case, we utilize or execute TTPs in a series and as a single process, to see how far an attacker could theoretically get in your network. All this is managed and done for you from the platform. Now, Attack IQ Ready is very easy to get going. In just a few simple steps, your security can, teams can get this uh, set up to be able to begin their testing. And we'll talk to the steps up top there. So the first step is to manage users. Uh, that simply says, who from your organization is able to access your portal, uh, optionally configure, and have access to the reports. You're going to ID your security tech stack or enumerate the security controls. Tell us what you want tested. And then you'll define the test parameters, uh, the scheduling of the testing, and so forth. You'll also download a lightweight piece of software we call it the package. Uh, you'll deploy this on a Windows-based de devices in your environment uh, today. Uh, and so those will be your test points for your ongoing security control validation. Uh, before we do anything, we're going to do a function check uh, to make sure that everything is copacetic and ready to go. And then after, again, you schedule your testing, uh, it will commence automatically uh, on a, or at the periods that you set. And then we'll go uh, from there and you'll have the results. Uh, to review. Uh, Attack IQ Ready tests seven distinct security controls in the context of MITRE ATT&CK, and you'll get comprehensive data about how well your security controls will perform against certain threats. This is designed to be simple, uh, a click, 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 and go offering. And this will give you and your security team, the you know, no matter the size of your team, the ability to gain actionable intel in the form of weekly, monthly, uh, and even cyber insurance related reports. So from here, we'll get into a demo, take a look at the portal and what you'll do. So once you sign up for Attack IQ Ready uh, and we set up your dedicated instance, you'll authenticate to it and you'll be presented with this home page. So here you can see uh, what our threat informed defense research team has been working on. Uh, we'll put anything that is new uh, and interesting here. You have the ability to click uh, on any of these entries and you'll be taken, for example, uh, to the Attack IQ blog or page that's related to this. You'll configure your Attack IQ Ready instance by clicking on configuration. And the first thing you'll do is configure your security control tech stack. So as I mentioned, here you have the ability to enumerate or tell us which type of controls you have in your environment. So for example, endpoint antivirus, detection and response, the type of email filter that you may be using, next gen firewall, and optionally web content filters and web application firewall. Then you'll set your testing schedule. So tell us uh, when you want to run this, uh, what day of the week. Next, you'll deploy your test point. So this is a simple package that you'll download, and then you'll install this uh, as the, uh, at the time of this particular demo, uh, we support Windows, desktop, and server. And then you will deploy this on between one to 10 machines in your environment. 
Again, this is the only component of the solution that sits on net. Next, we'll want to test email and web content filter, uh, but we'll need some context in, in order to do that correctly. So for example, uh, email retrieval protocol configuration, the way that we're going to test this uh, is we're gonna test from the outside. So you'll tell us uh, exactly where to go and also uh, the credentials to use here. Next, you'll tell us a recipient. So someone uh, that we're going to send this to to make sure that your email filters are indeed removing uh, any emulated content, attachments, or links. If you wish to test your web application firewall, you'll tell us the protocol and then the web page that is behind the WAF. And lastly, the WAF response that we are to expect. If it is the default of 403 or uh, some specific uh, or unique response. Then lastly, you'll manage your users. So this is uh, for anyone that will access your Attack IQ Ready instance or portal and be able to access the reports. You'll only have to set this up one time. Things will run on the schedule that you set up and then you'll have your report. So we have a number of different types here. We have a weekly detail, weekly summary. Uh, we also have the monthly report uh, and even uh, the cyber insurance types of reports. So I'll show you a couple of examples of these and we'll start with the summary report. So this example shows the security controls that are going to be tested uh, and then uh, the report period. This is designed to be a brass tax report, perhaps for leadership, uh, just to give you a few pages to tell you your overall readiness. You can see the effectiveness by security control. So we're in this particular setup, we're testing the endpoint from the perspective of antivirus. Uh, we're also testing any boundary next gen firewalls, inbound email and endpoint detection and response. And here you see your overall cumulative effectiveness. We'll provide these results for each type of security control uh, that is under test. And in the summary report, we give you the methodology description, a little bit of context on what we are doing here. And as you can see, we go through each of the security controls in like fashion. For the technical team, you can use a detailed report same four security controls in this particular example. But here, there's a lot more detail from a technical perspective. So we not only provide the methodology description, but also execution details. So I mentioned scenarios. The Tech IQ uses and provides a library of scenarios uh, that do different things uh, in terms of emulation of different tactics, techniques, or procedures, or TTPs. And all of this is done for you. You don't have to write these. You don't have to deploy these. You don't even have to specify them. We do all of it for you. And for those that are more technically oriented, as you can see, uh, this detailed report provides things such as execution evidence. So what exactly happened when we ran various scenarios? Security control validation is a journey. And so over time, you'll want to know how you are faring. Uh, and so hopefully you're improving. And to, to validate something like that or verify it, you have a monthly report option. So I'll show you what you get here. With this month progress report, as you can see, this is how effective your security controls are over time. So the idea here is you run your weekly assessments uh, and then you'll see how you fared with your different security controls. And hopefully over time, once the security team, the blue team, let's say, uh, if you have those on those that are responsible for your controls and their configurations, they make the changes. And then uh, when we run the assessments again, uh, hopefully there'll be improvement. So as you can see, what you get, uh, your team, no matter the size, your team now has uh, some actionable intel and they can go in, make the changes, and then you can see your improvement uh, where you may be doing great uh, with a certain security control, uh, perhaps you're not uh, with others. 
So as you can see, with very little effort on your part, you're able to get information and actionable intel that you don't have today without this type of test. We definitely would ask that you check us out at attackiq.com, uh, visit us or contact us at info at attackiq.com uh, where you can get more information on Attack IQ Ready. Uh, this is uh, the lead on the page today. If you click there, you can get more details about the solution. So at this time, uh, I'll turn this back over to our moderator to see if we have any questions. Hey, Jim, thanks. I'm not seeing any questions at the moment, but let's give it a minute and see if anyone does have a question. Please feel free to drop that in the question box and we will get that answer for you. Not seeing any questions. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. And thank you so much, Jim, for the amazing presentation and demo. Um, if any questions do pop up after closing out of this presentation, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, as always, we will be there to um, help get those questions answered for you. But have a wonderful day, and we thank you so much for joining.